what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so i got a chance to check out backlash to be honest with you the only match i really truly cared about seeing was randy orton versus edge and you know they've been coining it as the greatest wrestling match ever which before we get into my thoughts on that match um i'm really gonna need wwe to chill out on just trying to force things wwe is known to try to force things they'll run with something and then they'll run it into the ground this is a situation where you didn't even allow the fans to come up with that you forced it and it, it doesn't come off genuine that's the only thing i did not like about this whole like this whole situation this this match the promos were fantastic but it's like they were forcing the greatest match ever line even edge even mentioned it in one of his promos leading up to this match like i don't you you're setting yourself up for expectations that is you know it's not realistic because when you think of great matches they never set it up as this is going to be the greatest wrestling match ever they just had a great match the feud built it itself and people gave it that moniker or oh, this is one of the greatest matches ever so that's the one thing i can say i'm not a big fan of about this whole feud well just this part of the feud is wwe's involvement and in trying to force that down people's throat i think it's very cringy i just i don't like that but that's really the only thing i cared about on this uh on this show to be honest with you I, i'm keep it a buck that's probably the only thing i watched and i will say this was it the greatest match ever no but it was a really good main event match it's the perfect match to end the show it was enjoyable as hell and i will also say edge did his thing he deserves a round of applause this was really his first wrestling match back in the wwe since his return and it was fantastic he it's like he never really lost a step it was it was enjoyable man uh, i like the fact that this match wasn't just built off of the rko and the spear this match was more so built off of just their wrestling like knowledge the fact they were using moves they haven't done in a very long time hell they started using other wrestlers finishers which i've never really seen i've seen it but they literally was using other wrestlers finishers like uh randy orton hit edge with a pedigree that's when was the last time randy orton is used to pedigree you know what i'm saying and uh edge hit randy orton with a rock bottom i'm like what is what's going on here and and i like it because they didn't rely too much on the rko and they didn't rely too much on edge uh edge's spear so i i, I like that it was more focused on other things uh i like that there, there was some 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 blood there I, I thought adding a little bit of color was nice uh i believe it was on the headbutt spot when they was on the um one of the turnbuckles um and he uh edge hit randy orton with a, a headbutt and uh it busted him open nicely I, 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 there's there's nothing wrong with using a little bit of blood here and there it doesn't have to be crazy like it used to be you know what i'm saying shout out to rick flair who used to just blade ridiculously and be just pools of blood everywhere but you know it, it wasn't it doesn't have to be like that just you know it adds a little bit of believability these guys are going at it and it was enjoyable now there's another thing i got to mention uh that i'm not a big fan of when it came to this match wwe is so involved sometimes it takes away the luster of the match the fact that they were piping in crowd chants like I know it was already pre-recorded, but they added like some like crowd noise to it. Cause of course there's not that many people there, but they were adding like stadium crowd noises. I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I thought that was kinda kinda cringe. It was it was kinda weird. I'm like, yo, uh you could have just had the regular few people that was there to be the crowd. I get it. Once again, this was already pre-recorded, so they 
added some stuff but it, it was kind of weird um they had the little howard finkel situation as him being the announcer for both wrestlers rest in peace to howard finkel one of the greatest ring announcers of all time um it was it i get the I get the uh, sentimental value that adds to this match to coin it as one of the greatest wrestling matches. You have to have one of the greatest wrestling, uh, you know, announcers to introduce a match like this. But I, I just, I, I, me personally, I wasn't a big fan of that touch. So, you know, comment down below if y'all like that touch. It, for me, I wasn't a big fan of it, but I get why they did it. It was just, for me, I wasn't a big fan of that. But, um, I don't know man i just feel like wwe should just let things be more organic if you let it be more organic it comes off more believable um but besides that the match was enjoyable i enjoyed it it was very hard hitting very intense i like the storytelling that they were telling within the match i like the fact that these guys know each other and edge was trying to go for his shoulders because you know randy orton has had um some um medical uh issues with his shoulders i believe he's had surgery done on both of them and vice versa um randy orton was going for edges you know his head and neck region i like that i like the storytelling involved and if you guys remember uh leading up to this match uh, i want to say a few weeks ago when they were having some of the greatest not greatest but they were having some of the best promos on raw at the time um building up to this match i said and i called this i think randy orton is going to be in a situation where he can't put edge away edge is going to surpass his expectations and he's going to have to cheat to win and that's exactly what happened it's two rkos didn't even put him out two of them he kicked out of two rkos edge put randy orton in uh his submission hold that he's been using lately which i do like um and he hit him with a quick low blow ref didn't see it it was very quick and then he pulled out the punt kick and it was so crazy to see that because i just watched the video did a reaction on this channel to uh randy orton using the punt kick and he hasn't really used it in a very very long time and he actually used it this time and it put edge away and i like the story there because i called it randy orton is going to get frustrated he's going to use a a heel tactic to win the match without the referee knowing and i think it's going to set up a third match or the rubber match it has to because edge can definitely use this footage like yo you cheated randy you didn't beat me fair and square because you couldn't get the job done so you had to cheat there needs to be at least one more match in my opinion because this is one of those feuds it can it's been going on since before wrestlemania it's a a, a feud that's believable they are carrying this feud it's honestly one of the only good things on the raw side of the raw side of, the, of wwe so why not continue this feud and um i think i'm not sure what the next match would be uh you know i would like to get your guys opinion on that what you think the match the next match should be because it's not going to be a, t a typical wrestling match it got it has to be something else that relates to both wrestlers so i would be interested to get your guys opinion do y'all think there will be a third match and what it should be you know but definitely the outcome i figured that was going to happen i didn't see them going with edge winning because then the feud would be done like the feud would be over but like there's no point in having this feud because edge just beat him twice he beat him in a wrestling match and he beat him at wrestlemania so for me it wasn't the greatest wrestling match ever but it was enjoyable so once again like i said do you uh do you guys want it to be do you guys want a third match and if you guys were to want a third match out of these guys one more match what would be the stipulation you know and also i want to get your guys opinion on backlash as a whole once again i didn't really watch all of it because i didn't care i just cared about this match so let me know what's y'all thoughts on this whole this uh backlash as a whole did you guys enjoy it obviously i think a lot of people's favorite match was this match and you know i just want to start a discussion down in the comment section below but just a little quick my quick little review on just this match as a whole i enjoyed it 
they exceeded my expectations but they didn't just blow it out of the water for for me to say it's the greatest wrestling match ever but it was definitely enjoyable i want to get your guys thoughts and opinion i appreciate all the love and support road to 20k you already know what it is more videos on the way appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace